You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty Sultan Ibrahim ibn al Marhum Sultan Iskandar al Hajj, the Sultan and ruler of Johor, Malaysia, arrived in Bahrain at an invitation by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa to attend the 15th edition of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. Upon arrival, he was welcomed at the Bahrain International Airport by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid al Khalifa, Governor of Muharraq, Salman bin Isa bin Hindi, Malaysian Ambassador to Bahrain, Agnes Salam Yusuf, and senior officials. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa arrived in Tunisia today, heading Bahrain's delegation to the 30th Arab Summit. He was welcomed by former Tunisian Premier and the Special Advisor to the Tunisian President for Political Affairs, Habib Sayed, and State Minister Sabri Basha Tabaji and other senior officials. Also present were the Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Bahrain's Ambassador to Egypt and Permanent Representative to the Arab League, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Bahrain's Ambassador to Tunisia, Ibrahim Mahmoud Ahmed, and other officials. Officials. The summit will commence tomorrow, Sunday, to discuss issues on its agenda in light of the outcome of the preparatory meetings of the Arab foreign ministers. The permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations, Ambassador Jamal Rawai, said that legal frameworks to combat the financing of terrorism are based on several laws and regulations in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Speaking at the UN Security Council's open debate on the prevention and combating of the financing of terrorism, he highlighted the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the fight against the financing of terrorism within the international partnership frameworks in which it is contributing relentless efforts along with the international community to combat and defeat this scourge of terrorism. He said that Iran is financing and supporting terrorism in the region. The meeting was called for by the French presidency of the council under the item on terrorist acts threats to international peace and security and attended by a number of foreign and defense ministers. Watched by millions of people around the world, the Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix becomes the focal point of the sporting world and Bahrain benefits not only from the global exposure but from the considerable economic impact that it has on its people and its businesses. More on this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. Bahrain International Circuit celebrates 15 years in Formula One, 15 years of delivering sustainable growth, employing local talent and building a long-term fan base of the sport across the region. It's not just a memorable weekend of racing and entertainment, it's a net contributor to Bahrain's economy, with benefits derived from the steady spending by the host, various enterprises and spectators. It puts Bahrain in the world map. It's a, a fantastic media exposure for Bahrain to attract investments. Bahrain Grand Prix has become one of the country's most prestigious global sporting events ever since its launch in 2004, and it has boosted the kingdom's position on the world tourism map. The national carrier Gulf Air gets revenues from ticket sales to F1 fans, some of whom fly from relatively long distances to attend the special event. In addition, the hotels, telecommunication and car rental firms get their fair share of revenues.
A lot of industries, businesses popped up from there, hotels, businesses. So the economy, a sustainable economy, is, is on the move. Uh, and we see this year also is going to even add to the, uh, the successes that the Formula One has contributed to this uh, economy, inshallah. Sales of tickets is a source of fund, as well as spending by visiting fans on ancillary items during their course of stay, whether in shopping complexes, retail outlets, or even small businesses. The benefits are not confined to a single call rental firm or restaurant. There is also the spillover effect to numerous sectors as money spent during F1 circulates through the economy. Every year we are getting not less than $100 million economic impact, direct economic impact. That's of, of course besides the indirect, but we are focusing always on the direct economic impact. So it is in the average of $100 million per year, which is great for the, for, the, for, the, for the country, between hotels, between taxis, transportations, restaurants, shopping malls, everything. So this is what the Grand Prix is bringing over to Bahrain uh, every single year. Moreover, economic revenues do not only include the financial part, it also creates new jobs for Bahrainis and expands the production base in the kingdom. Since we started Formula One, uh, some studies have showed that it's about $1.4 billion that uh, Formula One has brought to Bahrain. Uh, on top of that, the promotional aspect of Bahrain, the tourism. Uh, tourism has risen more than 65% uh, from 2004 to today, uh, whether it is due to Formula One or due to the reputation that Formula One has brought to the country. Um, as far as uh, Bahrain International Circuit itself, uh, we've hosted almost 400 events last year. Most of these events are multiple days, so uh, we have been uh, very strongly on the motorsports map. It not only positively boosts Bahrain's tourism and hospitality sector, it showcases the kingdom's open business environment where international investors are able to access the fast-growing GCC market, highlighting Bahrain on the global investment map. Reporting for Bahrain International, Amheb Abdul Ghaffar. The chairman of Betelco, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the president and CEO of Ericsson, Borhe Ekholm, have signed a milestone partnership to launch 5G in the Kingdom of Bahrain. More on the support with Shogun Mohammed. ...to bring many innovative services. In a prestigious ceremony held at the Four Seasons Hotel, and in the presence of the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, and a number of senior executives from the telecommunications sector, a landmark deal was signed between Bahrain's leading digital solutions provider, Betelco, and the world-renowned technology solutions provider, Ericsson. The latest deal in a long and successful partnership between the companies will see Ericsson's commercial 5G equipment, including 5G new radio, mobile transport and core, being deployed in Betelco's network. Ericsson's high-speed and low-latency 5G technology will help Betelco meet growing data traffic demands and deliver high-quality enhanced mobile broadband and fixed wireless access experiences. It's a tremendous honor to launch 5G for Betelco. It's a great partnership with Ericsson that dates back to 1970 when Cavern Wireless signed its first contract with, with Ericsson and of course with 2G and 3G and 4G. Uh, Betelco has been leading the way in terms of uh, innovation and technology and we're really delighted to launch 5G. It's a great timing to launch it just uh, with Bahrain celebrating another F1 race. Um, of course 5G is going to revolutionize the world uh, just like the internet and there's an industry around 5G and we're delighted that we can launch it uh, being one of the first to launch it here in Bahrain if not the first and we're hoping that uh, this will enhance the customer experience uh, for all uh, Betelco customers. The shift to 5G will bring enhanced mobile broadband to subscribers across Bahrain, with huge speed and low latency changes in mobile user experiences, such as streaming, downloading, gaming and interactivity.
5G will also enable Batelco to help open up opportunities in the Internet of Things and Industry 4.0 on a global scale to enterprises and industries in Bahrain. We've been with Batelco since 1978, uh, delivering all the latest technologies. So now it's another um, important milestone, 5G. Uh, the whole world is talking about 5G. This will completely change the way uh, industries do business. This will completely, completely uh, change the way uh, operators do business. So we are very proud to be the partner of, uh, of Batelco and deliver the 5G, commercial 5G uh, for the country. This will make a big difference on the whole ecosystem of, of uh, uh, of Bahrain as far as the uh, IoT, the Internet of Things and all the technologies, digital technologies related to the, uh, to the, uh, to the usage between the consumer and the enterprise. And to be honest with you, uh, this will play a major role in enhancing the other verticals of the industries. Every, every vertical, banking, transportation, health, so this is an important uh, element of, of, of it. The nationwide 5G deployment will commence in phases in key locations across the kingdom based on the 5G technology and ecosystem aligned with global 5G trends over the next three years. The agreement signed here today between Batelco and Ericsson will undoubtedly improve the digital lives of people in the kingdom while introducing groundbreaking new technology in the region. Reporting for Bahar International, I'm Shogun Hamid.